What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Live, and I'm back out here with another legendary video. And in this video, man, we're gonna continue off here on 98. We still got the five going strong. Make sure y'all drop a like, hit that subscribe button if we receive over a hundred likes. I will give away a mech on a random server. So if you guys want to win that mech, smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can get more videos. All right. So where we left off last time, I was defending the fob and we we'll continue off here in the same situation. Um, the fob had a push going for about at least a week, I would say, when we first got on 98. They was pushing hard for a week. Um, it was just literally this this hallway back and forth PvP. Um, I was on my stalker, you know, saying ripping kids' lives to shreds and looting them. All right, all the loot that we got from these kids had to hurt. I heard they wasted tons of PTs, tons of tappies, trying to get us up out of here. But we're here to stay, man. So sitting on a stalker for over a week defending this entrance was definitely fun but I was looking forward to finally getting these guys pushed back getting this fob wiped so we can push forward outside and start doing some damage within the server alright so in this video you guys will see the beginning stages of that um the RIP that we gave these kids in their underworld has to be one of the best that I've seen. They lost a lot of stuff, all right? Um, will they ever pull up to our server and cause damage to us? I highly doubt it, all right? I'm on my mech. I went and got my guy mech for this. It's like over 470 something damage melee. And we had to rip through a ton of this spam so we could forward five the towers they have out here, all right? So that's what I'm getting done right now. Um, I haven't used this mech since I made it, so it's pretty cool to bring this over here to 98. Whipping out this high level mech um, inspired me to get these drops going again on Extinction. Um, I actually got this mech BP from a red drop. It was a Mastercraft BP that I ended up rolling, I think a 76. Um, so you can get some pretty insane BPs out of red drops, right? With the modern experience points, I still need being halfway to 170. It just makes sense to spend a little bit of time on Extinction. Um, I think I said that a few videos ago and I haven't quite gotten over there, but I do want more mechs like this, man. More OP Mastercraft mechs that I can bring over to my enemy's server and do serious damage to their spam. 
all right so after destroying the spam for at least i would say about a good 40 minutes and building the ff shout out to the eld guys and, and any of the bb guys that was building the ff man you guys are definitely op we got that done and we were just smashing through these gates so we can have access to these guys two towers all right as you guys can see they got sp 98 on top of their towers showing us who they are and what they made of but at the end of the day it was really nobody defending this other than one or two players all right so it's pretty surprising for such a huge mega tribe why only two people was defending these towers and them knowing that we're in the underworld in the fob they should have tons of members sleeping a lot less until we get off this server i'm pretty sure if they ever five eleven oh five will be up day and night until they're off the server but again we're, we're a different breed from these guys um i do rate um sp is a bunch of cowards um they like to raid unaffiliated tribes and they run from big tribes man it's just what they've been doing for years and it's time for them to finally lose this server So I'm getting some work done on one of my vintage Tech Rexes. I don't know, I think this is like a 32K or something like that. It's still chilling with 180K health, um, pretty strong Rex, but it's definitely a lot better out there, all right? I'm always on the Stalker, always, always killing kids on the Blood Stalker. And because they wasn't defending at the rate that I thought they would, it wasn't really a lot of kids to kill. So I decided to just hop on this Tech Rex and get some damage done it's such an op dino with this saddle for how far you can hit kids and sit behind soakers destroying turrets i'm starting to like the tech rex man you guys probably gonna see me using this a little bit more than before um hopefully we can um get this tech rex up in the north snow and do some real damage where it really counts So after the Rex, I did see a couple of them start to come out and defend and I hop back on the Stalker just to be a nuisance to them when you're running around a tower trying to net stegos and stuff like that and Stalkers are pulling you, consistently killing you. It gets really annoying and you don't really want to keep that energy up. But it just allows us to destroy the towers a lot easier when nobody's down there being annoying um the distance that you can pull these kids from is pretty op considering they never know when they're gonna get pulled until they get grabbed and it's just really one of the funnest things to do at one point they did put a bubble up 
and they was trying to protect the tower. We had the bubble down very quickly with a couple tech tappies and then my tech rex that was parked right there. And the PvP was definitely dope. I wanted to stream it, but as far as 98, I'm not giving these guys no advantages, no type of stream sniping. I just want them to lose their server. So it's just strictly business, strictly videos coming out of the camp about this server. I hope you guys definitely enjoy it all. I won't be doing a traditional base type video, just a breakdown of the step-by-step -step process and what it took to get to each point on this raid, all right? And you guys know I give it from my perspective because I'm the guy on the channel, all right? If you guys want different perspectives, you might see some videos here and there from guys out my tribe, but probably not. I caught my guy Bav right here, typing away, going crazy, arguing in chat, and he, he got clapped for that, man. Um, shout out to Bav. It's the first time he probably been on my channel. Um, definitely getting clapped by Stalker should be my pleasure, right? We got a, a, a Void Wyvern right here, trying to scoop up some Stegos, getting caught up, getting clapped. And <laughs> it's pretty much what the defense looked like for these towers. They was coming out with one or two guys, one or two Gigas, and those Gigas and guys were getting killed. And we just continue off soaking and pushing. All right, give them credit. They do have um, a sort of a skeleton tower set up. So we had to soak a lot of it, but they was definitely outdated with those vault drops. Um, they need to upgrade their server and we helped them out with that. So this is the last final look of this 98 tower. Um, you won't see this again after this clip. As you can see, the boys are going crazy with the mechs, shredding that tower, man. We got tech rexes, we got crabs with turtles down there. Um, I will show you guys what the Fortnite was looking like. Again, they had one or two gigas that popped out. It wasn't really a lot of defense going on. It was really just us steamrolling all the 98's towers. And if you're in this tribe, man, you guys should be ashamed of yourself being at this level in the game and just allowing people to come to your server and just do this type of damage without any repercussions, all right? Trying to hit side servers, trying to bully unaffiliated tribes is not gonna get you anywhere on this game. You're only gonna get respect from taking out the big dogs all right so the pvp got super crazy right here they came out with a couple gigas we um suppressed them put them right back into their hole and continue to do damage to these towers that was protecting the crystal cave all right we, we later on in the video you'll see us doing a little bit of pvp and in that crystal which gives you guys the guarantee that uh yeah everything that was out here got wiped all right i couldn't stay for the whole thing but i was here for most of it um, you can see this Quetzu getting caught slipping, flying, picking, and end up getting clapped, man. Every time I turn around, another SP member was dying. Man. It was pretty crazy. Keep fighting for you. 
But I definitely appreciate all you guys that have been supporting the channel. Um, I've been enjoying this raid over here. I should have had this video out about two to three days ago. But I got caught up IRL. And as long as I don't go nine days, I'm happy. All right? But nah. Nine days is way too long. Five days is way too long, man. Y'all boys smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button. Already got most of the next video edited and what's going on and what we doing over here. All you guys just, just curious about how SP is getting clapped. I continue to push forward, continue to drop these arc videos. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a lot more wars that we're gonna get involved in here in the next couple weeks. Um, if we don't get this done and if we do get into that north snow and start doing major damage to SP, you guys know you're gonna see it here first because I'll be on the front lines to that, all right? So all my tech wrecks destroying this little clip flat they have right here to end the video. Again, truly appreciate all you guys, man. It's your boy live. We're gonna head back to the lab, back to creating, back to doing what I do. Listen, I'm gone, man. Thank you.